Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nourish Your True Self, I guess, YouTube channel or Facebook, wherever you're watching us. I'm Jenny Lee, the social work half of the Nourish Your True Self duo, and I'm here with my colleague and friend, Angie, the registered dietitian half of the duo. And he, um, we're here this week uh, to talk a little bit more about the program and to kind of dive into some of the stuff we previously talked about. And we thought it'd be really cool to start us up today with Angie reading us a piece that she wrote uh, when we were initially brainstorming, birthing Nourish Your True Self, Professional Services for Disordered Eating. Take it away, Angie. That sounds messy. <laughs> it was a messy process. And so it was, and I'm gonna say, I think this is almost a year old now. Like I wrote it when we were first starting um, and thinking about what it would look like. And the most common comments that my clients will have with me before we identify that actually we're here for disordered eating, we're not here for this other thing that we actually got through the door for. So I just wanna give a quick read and then we can chat about it. Yeah. Um, this is what disordered eating can look like. Uh, I can't trust myself around food. If I could just lose this weight, everything would be better. I've been battling with my weight my whole life. Um, if, if people could recognize these kinds of expressions, um, you're waiting for life to get better, you're waiting to feel better, you're waiting to be comfortable, you're waiting to participate. Um, I wonder maybe if exploring a healthy relationship with food is actually what you're waiting for and actually something that we can be helpful with. Um, so that was kind of the, the starting of my little piece. I love that, Angie. And I love that it's true. That was probably like a year old when we started this. And, and so some of the things that I want to add to that is, um, uh, you know, just asking people to notice if they're, those are some of the thoughts that motivate them through the day. Or do you notice that um, you're labeling foods good versus bad or um, healthy versus fattening or even unhealthy? because even healthy and unhealthy are good and bad labels. Do you notice that you talk to yourself um, about food in those types of ways? Uh, do you notice that you, know, um, you might show up to work on a Monday and say to your coworker, oh my gosh, I had such a bad weekend. Um, Angie, what do you say when people tell you that? People will always say to me, I was so bad this weekend and I know what they mean. They mean that they had cake at some party. So I say something like, oh, did you rob a bank or kick a puppy? And of course they say, well, no. And I'm like, well, sounds like you had cake and that doesn't make you a bad person unless you're hurting animals or breaking the law. And I think you just brought up an, <laughs> P.S., I love that. And you just brought up another great point, Angie, um, that I think we need to add to this week's video is that because you think when you had a bad weekend that that makes you a bad person. And so I think that's where we especially want you, um, you, you watching, to start exploring how you think about food, how you talk about food to yourself or others, um, mm -hmm. and just start to connect that with, uh, when I look at food as good and bad, I start to look at myself as good and bad. And um, food doesn't make us who we are. Food doesn't make us good or bad. Angie, well, do you have anything to add to that? I think mostly um, when we feel bad, it, it trickles down to then um, impacting my life in a negative way, right? I ate cake. I feel like that was a bad choice. I feel like a bad person. My mood is negative. I make other poor choices. I don't want to go to a party because what if they're cake? Like then it becomes something that I'm missing out other thing. I'm missing out on other things. That's that's where shifting that can make a really big difference in your life. And that's what we do. Yeah. And so if you're interested in having more of this conversation, you can find us on Facebook or YouTube at Nourish Your True Self, oh, as well as Instagram. Um, and also keep tuning into these videos because this is just the tip of many icebergs that we look forward to delving into just a little bit deeper uh, on Thursdays when we create videos and show them off to all of you. So thanks for tuning in again and we'll see you next week.